Benin City is the capital and largest city of Edo State in southern Nigeria. It is the fourth largest city in Nigeria after Lagos, Kano and Ibadan, with a total population of 1,782,000 as of 2021. It is situated approximately 40 kilometers, 25 miles, north of the Benin River, and 320 kilometers, 200 miles, by road east of Lagos. Benin City is the center of Nigeria's rubber industry, and oil production is also a significant industry. It was the most important city of the Edo Kingdom of Benin, which flourished during the 13th to the 19th century. It had important trade relations with Portugal during the last centuries before being raised in 1897 by a British punitive raid. Many treasures and artifacts, including the Benin bronzes were taken by the British who followed up their victory with a military occupation of the area. The indigenous people of Benin City are the Edo people, the Benin people, and they speak the Edo language and other Edoid languages. The people of the city have one of the richest dress cultures cultures on the African continent and are known for their beads, body marks, bangles, anklets, raffia work and the subsistence farming of yam, plantain and cassava. The original people and founders of the Edo Empire and the Edo people initially were ruled by the Ajiso, kings of the sky, dynasty who called their land Igoto Magoto. Igoto, the first Ajiso, wielded much influence and gained popularity as a good ruler. He died after a long reign and was succeeded by Er, his eldest son. In the 12th century, great palace intrigue and the battle for power erupted between the most cherished wife of the last Ajisos and Prince Ekalaterhan, son of the last Ajiso. In anger over an oracle that was framed to indict the crown prince, instead of the Ajiso's diabolic wife. The judgment was that that Prince Ekalaterhan should be killed. The men that was sent to kill him released him towards Ikwan and was left to escape. Meanwhile, an oracle has said that Ife should wait for their king patiently. When he arrived at Ife he was begged them for king because they were more sophisticated, in accordance to the oracle. That is while the Yorubas then send Oranmi a son there. He gave himself a new name as Zadawa, meaning, I have found prosperity. But shortly Oranmia left Alibanu because he could not cope with their style and culture. When his father Ajiso died, the Ajiso dynasty was ended as the people and royal kingmakers preferred their king's son as natural next in line to rule. The Portuguese visited Benin City around 1485. Benin grew rich during the 16th and 17th centuries due to trade within southern Nigeria, as well as through trade with Europeans, mostly in pepper and ivory. In the early 16th century, the Oba sent an ambassador to Lisbon, and the King of Portugal sent Christian missionaries to Benin. Some residents of Benin could still speak a pidgin Portuguese in the late 19th century. Many Portuguese loan words can still be found today in the languages of the area. A Portuguese captain described the city in 1691, Great Benin, where the king resides, is larger than Lisbon. All the streets run straight and as far as the eye can see. The houses are large, especially that of the king, which is richly decorated and has fine columns. The city is wealthy and industrious. It is so well governed that theft is unknown and the people live in such security that they have no doors to their houses. This was at a time when theft and murder were rife in London. On February 17, 1897, Benin City fell to the British. In the punitive expedition, a 1,200-strong British force, under the command of Admiral Sir Harry Rawson, conquered and razed the city after all but two men from a previous British expeditionary force led by acting Consul General Phillips were killed. Alan Boisregon, one of the survivors of the Benin Massacre, included references of the practice of human sacrifice in the city in a first-hand account written in 1898, one year after the punitive expedition. James D. Graham notes that although there is little doubt that human sacrifices were an integral part of the Benin state religion from very early days, first-hand accounts regarding such acts often varied significantly, with some reporting them and others making no mention of them.